we are on a new job today. I'm actually at an old co-op, which was built in 1902, I think it was. Might be 1922. Anyway, I'm at an old co-op today and we are converting it into a five bedroom house. So this is the downstairs living room and then I'll give you a little tour in a bit. I would have started recording first thing this morning, but I had too much to do. I'm on my own again. So I've just got this first course down here, sorted all my tray detail out, and now I'm just working my way on this back. So let's crack on. So the plan of attack for today is get three courses on inside and out. And that will take me to the existing sill height. And then uh, I'll sort the windows out in a bit. I need to get a plumb bob and plumb the windows down. Right. I always throw my trowel on top of these. Yeah, it's always handy. The end of it. There we go, so we have done another bay. We're working around these posts which are staying in. So I'm just racking back and setting it out like that. So we've got another bay to do here and that'll take us to three height and then we'll hop to the outside and do this. Now I'm not really like trying to break any records today. Just want to make sure all of my work is mint and that everyone's happy so first time on this job and it's with a new developer we've uh, been able to get in contact with and he does these sort of jobs all the time so i'd rather put down a few blocks and make sure they're all mint and everything's lovely jubbly rather than just wham it up and uh you know you know what it's like also i'm quite happy i've got these pillars in because it really does solid this wall off a bit. Anyway, right, we're going to throw a starter pack up there and we'll get this blasted in. I've also got a bit of tray here. I mean, it's already tanked, but I've got another tray detail here just because this is the subfloor. So they'll have some more polythene to tape onto this. It's just extra protection and it covers my arse as well. So yeah, all full and games. Still rocking shorts. I know it's October, but see how long they can last. The old lad 
who taught me. Horrible bloke. Um, he used to wear shorts and flip flops all year round. Not that I'm trying to compete with him. A little trick I always like to do whenever I get a new trowel or any trowel I always see how long it is so this trowel roughly if I put it on a block is 20 mil bigger than a block so that means if I've got an opening in my panel and I think oh will my block go in there without getting my tape out I can just tell that it will Bit easier, isn't it? Here we go. So I've just finished a cup of tea and we've wrapped up the first three courses here. One, two, three. We've sorted out three bays, three courses. Just had a little sweep up so it's all tidy. And now we're gonna just transfer onto the front, which is nice and straight. So I'm gonna put the starter back up there. And uh, I've already set my corner, so I should just be able to run this in which is uh, pretty easy. So yeah, and then later on, tomorrow, probably get a bit higher and then load out this upper scaffold because we've got to go up to there. We'll have a little nose on the scaffold together in a bit. I've not been up there myself yet. used to find this is a new uh, new line I'm using spear and Jackson isn't it? spear and Jackson it's on a reel now normally when I get a new line I thread it straight onto the pins but what I found is that when I do that the line only lasts I don't know a couple of weeks maybe a month before it all starts getting all uh, twizzled up you wrap it up and it ends up going like that so it's such a ball ache so what I've done this time I've attached went one end of this reel to a pin and then I just have this pin always loose so I can just set it to however I want and I find that the line doesn't get as twisted and then you've always got enough line as well because sometimes you don't put enough line on and they'll just stick it on like that easy peasy let me know does anyone else's line gets get uh, dead twisted or is it just me Maybe I'm wrapping it up wrong, I don't know. Anyway, right, let's do some laying. on the third lift and these windows need to be a mirror image downstairs so I need to plumb down to my block work but yeah these are all going to get repointed lovely bit of brickwork 120 years old this solid anyway all right let's crack on Right, so I've just pulled up at home. It is quarter past four, which ain't bad at all. Uh, the old boys who are working on site, there's two of them, uh, combined age of uh, 100, 140, bless them. Uh, lovely, lovely chaps. Um, they like tooling up about, I don't know, three o'clock, which suits me down to a tee, because no one wants to be working too late, so that's nice. Um, yeah, 
brilliant day, really happy with how today went. Spent the first couple of hours just sussing the job out, having a little nose round, talking to the foreman, loading out, obviously I'm working on my own. But uh, yeah, overall it went really well. Uh, I couldn't get loads of footage because obviously I am there to work and it is only me so I've not got anyone else running in with me and laying blocks and stuff like that so uh, if I'm not laying and I'm making a video or something nothing's getting done so uh, well, hopefully tomorrow uh, I'll have a little wander around with you and actually show you the job. It's the old co-op building. It was built in 1900, 1900. So yeah, 19. So it's 121 years old. And the lad who's bought it, instead of uh, ripping it down and turning it into you know a couple of apartments or a couple of houses, he's just restoring it. So I had a little nose upstairs, and he's sandblasting all the old brickwork, all the old paint off. And he's keeping some of the original brickwork, or well, most of the original brickwork, he's keeping it as feature walls. There's loads of lovely old joinery. Um, all the king posts are staying and they're all exposed. So I'll show you around a bit more tomorrow. But yeah, overall, I was really pleased with how today went. Didn't really break any records, but I wasn't trying to. I was just trying to do a nice job for the lad. And uh, yeah, he seemed pretty pleased. So if he's happy, I'm happy. So yeah, anyway, I will catch you tomorrow morning. Sand. So, just got onto the job. It's about eight in the morning. So this is gonna be one of the bedrooms. All the old joinery is gonna be shown, which is nice, proper cool. And then, I've got another couple of rooms here with all the old beams showing. Here's some brickwork, What's, well, it's hard to see because it's so dark, but it's all been sandblasted. I don't know if you can see those corblings up there on the timber work. Some nice stuff that is, even though I don't like timber myself. But yeah, this is the job and then obviously there's downstairs and there's a basement as well. So overall a pretty cool job. Right, let's crack on. Right, so this is where I got to yesterday. I've got a old windowsill going on here, so that's my windowsill height there. Um, so I've put the rest of that corner up, and then I've just done the same over here. So that's all ready. There's my window jam, there's my little uh, 150 pocket, because obviously my new sill sits about 150 past my window jam. Uh, in hindsight, I was thinking about this job last night, I probably should have just ran a course off the, those bricks straight through just to get me to sill height and then gone block work again. But, uh, you know. Anyway, let's get cracking. So, I've just got a bit of 4 by one dead long and plumbed down from up there to down here to where my jaw was off. Was about 20 mil out overall, so I'm glad I checked. I know it's only 20 mil, but you might be able to see it. And obviously, with it being a mirror image, you want it to look right. and then every 450 straight through I'm going to treat these pillars just like jams so I'm going to put a tie out every course because it wouldn't be in block work and it's, uh, what is it 123 it's only about four blocks long so it is going to be wobbly so the more ties you can get in the better it'll make insulation harder but save any blow downs So 
Okay, so I've just set out all the windows now properly, which is nice. So before I start doing any more laying, I'm going to do all my cuts and uh, yeah, and then we should be able to crack on. And then we should be able to hop inside, hopefully by, I don't know, half 12, one o'clock. And then we'll be able to back it all in. So let's crack on, do some cuts. I don't know if you saw when I potted this one up to that, it moved over a little bit. That's why I never put these until I've laid one or two blocks on this side. Uh, saves this thing going out of plumb. So nice having new levels. I see the bubble for once. Right, so I don't know if you can see, but it is raining outside, so I've timed that perfectly. It is five past one, and we are jumping inside. I've just had a quick tidy up outside. Now we're going to get this all in. I've got to set one big corner up here, another one there, pull it through. Because yesterday I pulled the first one through, the first one, but I didn't pull the top two in, in this middle. So this is about 10 mil back from that corner and that corner. I ended up doing them separately in the end. So I'm gonna pull it all through today, make sure that we are all true. So let's crack on. Right, so I've thrown that corner up there all the way to the jam. And I've done a little corner there. Just gotta run this through the first course and figure out what all my cuts are. And then from there, I'll do all the cuts and then we'll get blasting again. So, this is where I'm leaving it today. It is quarter to four and there were just so many cuts in it that uh, it's just so time consuming. So I'm gonna make a cut list in a bit and uh, get all my cuts done in the morning with my block splitter. I'm gonna bring the block splitter, be a bit quicker before I go this is what the front looks like hard to see because of the Harris fence but pretty much all sorted looks pretty tidy right tomorrow I should have some help so that'll be nice and if not I'll just carry on plodding on my own anyway hope you guys are all alright I'll catch you in the next one 